Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. Today's video is all about the Borzoi. Before we go on, don't forget to like and share if you really enjoy our content. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post more dog-related content. Borzoi Overview Borzoi originated from Russia after being crossbred with the Arabian Greyhound and another thick-coated Russian breed. They were used for wolf hunting, a common sport amongst Russian aristocracy during the Romanov era. They were often presented as gifts to other members of the European nobility, and were almost never sold. In 1918, the slaughter of the Romanov family, nobles, and their dogs had a devastating effect on the numbers of the Borzoi in the 20th century. Thankfully, imports of the Borzoi began a few years before the massacre, and countries like the UK and American potentially saved this breed from extinction. They were known as the Russian Wolfhound until 1936 when they were then called the Borzoi. Borzois are still used to this day as protectors of livestock and also hunt the fields for rabbits and hares. First, let's have a look at the pros. Quiet, if you're looking for a dog breed that has a reputation for being relatively placid, Borzoi embody these traits. Borzois are very sweet, gentle, and calm dogs, but like most sighthounds, they're also quite aloof and independent. Friendly, they are a friendly dog breed that will enjoy socializing with other dogs and meeting new people. Although they've got a high prey drive, Borzoi can do well with other pets when inside the home. Intelligent, they can be quick to learn new commands and tricks with consistent training. Companion, if you're looking for a loyal, furry friend, Borzoi could be the right breed for you. They can settle on their pack leader and follow their lead with devotion. Once out of the puppy stage the Borzoi is generally well-mannered and makes the perfect indoor pooch. Their tolerance to both hot and cold climatic conditions is pretty great. They are fairly even-tempered and mostly remain immensely calm and composed. It's now time to look at the cons. Stubborn, Borzois are sighthounds meaning they will have a higher prey drive than other breeds. Therefore, it's a good idea to start recall training early with these sighthounds. They are not highly recommended to a novice dog parent as they can be sometimes a little hard to train and handle. Their independent nature can make training a Borzoi difficult. Some may still have the instinct to aggressively pin other smaller animals. They need a lot of space to accommodate their size. If you're thinking about introducing a Borzoi to your home, you'll need to make sure your garden and yard is secure. With their tendency to chase other animals, you'll need to make sure there's no way these escape artists can get out. Prey drive, one thing that all our Borzoi owners mentioned was the tendency for these elegant dogs to have a high prey drive. Borzoi will probably do better in a home with older children that can be educated on how to interact and play with these Russian dogs. Shedding, it's a good idea to brush your Borzoi at least a couple of times a week. Not only are these dogs not appropriate for an apartment but even a house with a small backyard may not be enough. They are not ideal for families with a lot of drama and aggression as this dog can be very sensitive to the atmosphere of the home. Borzois may even get sick in a hostile environment where family members have frequent conflicts. Interesting facts, it takes about three years for a Borzoi head to mature and reach its final shape. By five weeks, the nose begins to straighten. Over the next few years, the head grows another 10 inches. The Titanic's captain E.J. Smith had a Borzoi that was given to his daughter by Benjamin Guggenheim. Luckily the dog wasn't on the ship when it met its end. Borzois are slight dogs, and therefore can't fit that much food in their stomachs at once. To avoid painful tummy aches or bloating, give your Borzoi multiple small meals a day instead of one or two big meals. Appearance. They have elongated snouts and a long, lean, muscular build, like greyhounds, except they are often larger. They also have a long, silky fur coat that can be straight, wavy, or curly. Males are 28 to 32 inches tall, females are over 26 inches, and they weigh between 60 and 105 pounds. Their coat can come in a wide array of colors include, black, white, cream, gold, red, and brindle. They can have spots, a black mask, white markings and or a white trim according to the breed standard of the AKC. 
Most borzois are quite healthy and live an average of 9 to 14 years. Grooming. They have an undercoat which often sheds in the warmer months so you must keep up with grooming. It is recommended to brush their fur at least two to three times a week. A variety of combs can be used to comb your dog's fur which includes the slick brush, greyhound comb, and the large pin brush. Do not use a wire brush as this could potentially damage the fur. Their silky fur won't attract too much dirt and grime. So bathing only needs to happen when they are dirty. To avoid any discomfort, you should cut the nails and the hair around the pore areas every six weeks. The big floppy ears of this breed can easily collect bacteria, so clean them often to avoid infection. Shedding. A borzois long coat will require regular brushing. They shed at least once a year, in the spring, with the possibility of another shorter shed in the fall. Cost. On average a borzoi puppy will cost $1,900 in the USA and most puppies can be found between $1,800 and $2,000. The average price of a borzoi puppy in India is around 65,000 to 85,000 rupees. Price range can vary based on the dog's quality, lineage, location and quality of the breeder. Exercise and trainability. Borzois are independent and aren't the easiest of dogs to train. It is recommended exercise is around 1 to 2 hours per day and should be exercised in a closed off area. It's crucial to remember that exercise is critical for large breed dogs health and muscle growth. Patience is key as this breed will not respond to harsh training techniques. Socialization and recall should be the two key priorities. Because a hunting breed's drive to chase is high, you should check your dog's recall before letting him off the leash. Once they give chase, they become totally single-minded. So teach them an emergency recall for urgent situations. Positive training always works best and can be a great way for you to bond with your dog. This dog has a long memory. And if they have a bad experience it won't be forgotten easily. So it is best to avoid punishments, especially when house training your puppy. If they have any toilet accidents in the house, take them outside immediately and keep an eye on them indoors. When they start smelling the floor, you can usually tell they're about to go to the bathroom. Intelligence. According to The Intelligence of Dogs by Stanley Koren, Borzoi is ranked 75. Understanding of new commands 100 to 500 repetitions and obeys first command 20% of the time or better. Swimming. Although most Borzoi canines do not like swimming all that much, there are some exceptions out there and a few of these pooches are known to enjoy playing in the water or taking a dip in the pool. This mostly comes down to personal preference. Barking. The Borzoi canines are not excessive barkers. In fact, these pooches like to remain calm and quiet for most of the time and they use their voice on rare occasions only. Weather and climate. Borzoi canines have a mediocre tolerance to heat. Although these pooches can survive in moderately warm areas, they are definitely not very suited for extremely hot and high temperature regions. A Borzoi's tolerance to cold is amazing and this pooch can comfortably reside in fairly chilly and wintry areas and thus it is great for those people who want to raise a canine in a cold or snowy place. Friendliness. Borzois aren't an ideal breed for homes with small children as they do not tolerate curious hands where they don't belong. They're also large and may knock over children unintentionally. Borzois are usually tolerant of other animals, but may chase small dogs, cats, or critters like rats or hamsters. Even if they're accustomed to cats in the home, they are likely to chase cats and other animals outdoors. They can have a tendency to snap or become aggressive to dogs of the same sex, so training them as puppies is vital. This breed responds well to people their owner knows, however they may be more reserved with people you don't adaptability. Borzoi is a fairly independent and stubborn breed that requires the guidance of a skilled and knowledgeable owner. Training a Borzoi is also not a very easy task, especially if a novice owner is involved in the process. Therefore, this breed is not a very good option for inexperienced or first-time owners. Borzois are laid-back family dogs who can even adapt to apartment living, despite their large size. These pooches adjust to the apartment lifestyle fairly quickly but it's important to fulfill all their exercise needs on a regular basis. 
A Borzoi is a sensitive breed of dog, and they need a regular company. If you don't meet their exercise needs, they can become a couch potato, so you must make an effort to achieve this breed's needs. These canines can get highly bored due to loneliness and because of that, they may become a bit destructive in nature. Guard, Watchdog, Borzoi canines are not known to make a great guard dog. These pooches don't have the necessary amount of aggression and protective instincts that are required to be a decent guard dog. They aren't often noisy, and may not even bark when a stranger approaches the home. Drooling. Borzoi canines do not drool a lot and mostly drool after eating or drinking something and sometimes when they are excited, but apart from that, they don't drool all that much. Health issues. Retinopathy. It causes damage, lesions, to the retina of the eye and leads to impaired vision. Despite their size, Borzois have an extremely low incidence of hip dysplasia. Hip dysplasia is a genetic condition that causes malformation of the hip joint leading to osteoarthritis. Borzois sometimes suffer from heart problems and hypothyroidism. Be sure to check with your vet about these conditions. It is also important to check their ears regularly for any signs of infection, discharge, redness, ear odor. Have you had any experience with Borzoi? We'd love to hear your story in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.